Hey guys, David with the Wholesalers Toolbox. I want to talk about three different topics today and I'm going to squeeze them all together into one video. And the three topics are the perception, legality, and ethics of real estate wholesaling. And I'll just jump right into it with the first, the perception of real estate wholesaling. I had somebody comment earlier on my uh, Facebook group about, you know, he went to a, a real estate investors meeting and, you know, they weren't real friendly towards wholesalers. So, you know, some people have a bad perception of wholesaling and I kind of uh, relate it to like being a politician. Okay. If you're a politician, Half of the people are going to love you. Half of the people are going to hate you, right? If you're if you're a Republican, the Democrats are going to hate you. And if you're a Democrat, the Republicans are going to hate you. So wholesaling is like that. If you find investors and other wholesalers and, and people that buy into the, whole, the, the wholesaling concept, they're going to, you know, relate to you and, and accept you and, and all that. But there's just going to be some people out there that don't believe in real estate wholesaling. They, you know, they're going to, they're going to think it's illegal. They're going to, they're going to have their issues with it. And, you know, in my opinion, you just want to stay clear of those people because also like politics, you're not going to change somebody's mind. You're not going to sit down and, and, and educate them and go, hey, you know, here's all the, you know, the reasons why uh, wholesaling is, you know, a good idea on them go, oh yeah, you're right. I completely changed my mind. So perception, you know, it's, in it's, it's just something you're not going to change people's minds on. So, so that's why, you know, a lot of real estate wholesalers just label themselves as real estate investors. And, and maybe you should do that too with certain people just to avoid that, you know, that nonsense is, you know, just say, Hey, I'm a, I'm a real estate investor and, you know, and I buy houses and all, you know, and, and even with property sellers, just tell them you're a real estate investor. Don't get into the whole wholesaling, you know, scenario. So perception, you know, I think that covers it just, you know, depending on who you're talking to, you know, choose your words wisely. All right. So the second uh, thing we're going to talk about is the legality of real estate wholesaling. And I've touched on this in some other videos and, you know, people ask is real estate wholesaling legal? And the answer is yes, if you do it the right way. All right. A lot of people just hop into real estate wholesaling. They don't know what they're doing. You know, people say, get out, you know, go out and get a, a property under contract. And once you have a property under contract, the you know, you just advertise it and the buyers will line up and all that. Well, the problem people run into doing that is once you take a property that you put under contract and start advertising that property on Craigslist and on, you know, wherever, you know, you know put out signs or on Zillow or whatever, that's illegal. You're not you, legally, you can't market a property that you don't own. Okay. So where wholesaling works is you can market a contract that you own and you should have a good buy uh, list of cash buyers lined up to promote that too. So if, if you get a property under contract, you have an email list or, you know, phone numbers of real estate investors that you can text your property to or, or email them to, that property never sees the light of day. You're not on Craigslist with it. You're not online with it. You know, you just send it to your buyers. Nobody's ever going to say anything. But where wholesalers get themselves in trouble is just throwing it out there. And, you know, they're putting it online and, you know, a realtor is going to see it or a broker is going to see it. And they're going, you know, he's promoting or she's promoting a property that they don't own and you get yourself in trouble. So the, you know, understand, understand what you're doing when you're a wholesaler, you're selling your rights to a contract. And I, and I try to, you know, emphasize this all the time with wholesalers. You're not selling a property. You're, you can't market a property. You are marketing a contract that you own and you should be marketing it to investors, not to, you know, people that are looking for the first home to move into, not, you know, not, you know, anybody that's going to live in the house, but either to an investor that's going to buy and rent it or an investor that's going to buy, fix and flip. That's what a wholesaler does. We're professional deal finders and we work for cash buyers. Okay. So legality, it's legal to sell a contract but don't go out and start promoting properties that you don't own because then you get into to brokering and, and that's where you get in trouble. Okay, lastly, ethics of real estate wholesaling. 
people, you know, people ask, well, you know, is it ethical, you know, to buy a house cheap and turn around and sell it more to somebody else? And you know what? Every business in the world works like this. If, you know, uh, car dealerships, you go to, you know, trade your, your car in for a new car and they give you 5,000 bucks for your car and then they turn around and sell it for eight or nine or 10 and they're making a profit on it. Okay. Uh, clothes, you know, retail stores or I'm sitting at a Home Depot, uh, you know, they buy from a manufacturer cheap, they mark it up and they sell it to you. Okay. Wholesaling is the same thing you're going out and finding a property that's distressed that people can't get full market value from and then you're selling that contract to an investor that's going to buy it and fix it up so so the person paying the price is the investor you're taking it to and they'll pay your assignment fee for the you know because you're finding them a good deal all right that's that's how it works so everything in the world there's a markup on all right so you know, a manufacturer buys products, puts them together, buys little pieces, puts them together, marks it up and sells them to a store. The store marks them up and sells them to you. Real estate wholesaling is no different. You're going out, finding a deal, marking it up, selling it to somebody else because you put effort into it. You've marketed for that property. You've negotiated for that property. You've put it under contract. You've done all the legwork. Now you're going to go out and make a profit for all the work that you put into it. So ethically, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, you, you don't feel like you're you're taking advantage of a of a homeowner that's got a, you know, a ugly house because you know how to negotiate a good deal because any buyer is going to negotiate a good deal or any buyer should negotiate a good deal. So ethically, there's nothing wrong with wholesaling. Legally, there's nothing wrong with wholesaling if you do it right. And the perception of wholesaling is just something, you know, you should, you know, you know, choose who you talk to about wholesaling with and who you should to say your real estate investor with. So I know this is a quick video. I kind of, you know, summarize things real quick, but hopefully this clears some things up for you. And later, you know, I might do a video on each individual thing. But, you know, I was just thinking about those three things this morning and I wanted to make the video on it. So uh, let me know what you think. Comment below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, visit my website at thewholesalerstoolbox.com. Talk to you soon.